Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Mark, I'm from Noltex aka Null Transaction and today I will be talking about cryptocurrency prices. We have been blessed today on a Monday, crypto went up almost 10%. Uh, overall we gained about 10 billion dollars total for market cap and major cryptocurrencies are going up double digits. EOS is up almost 30% so things are looking very very good. So the first thing I want to talk about is what's going on with Bitcoin. It looks like Bitcoin is still leading most other cryptocurrencies. Um, many people try to call the bottom for Bitcoin at around 5,000 because we had this really crazy uh, long sideways market. So if we take a look at this chart, right, let's take a look at the one year uh, chart. We ha we're seeing this sideways market for the past three, if you want to count this, about three or four months. I mean, it's been a very, very long and painful sideways market. A lot of people were saying, come on, Bitcoin is going to break through. We're going to go past it. We're going to uh, end up at 10,000 by the end of the year. Unfortunately, the market broke down and now we're trying to fight for new support. The good news is, you know, a lot of people, again, do believe that 3,000 is going to be the new bottom. I do really hope that 3,000 will also be the new bottom because I remember when the, um, the pump first started happening at earlier this year, it was stayed around the 3,000 level quite some time, you know. It was at this level for quite a good amount of time. So I do think if the 5,000 can't really hold because there wasn't really any support there to begin with before the pump, two and 3,000, there was a few, quite a few months of that price momentum. So I do think that we can stay around at least the two or 3,000 level. Again, it's just going to be a matter of time, but the holidays are upon us. Hopefully things will look a little brighter so we can stay at this 3,000 level support. Anyway, moving on, what's going on with other cryptocurrencies? So we're seeing that other coins are seemingly outperforming Bitcoin. So Bitcoin went up only around 8 and 10%. Now other cryptocurrencies also went up uh, double digits, but we have some like EOS went up 25%. Stellar up 18, Ethereum up 14. So we have a lot of cryptocurrencies out here that are really outperforming Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin is still doing relatively well. The other thing I really wanted to talk about is how the status quo, where you know, certain currencies were in certain spots for quite some time, that's being changed now with you know, these crazy gains. For example, Litecoin surpassed Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV after they had their fork. Uh, it was about two days ago that that happened. Now, XRP surpassed Ethereum uh, mid last month, about November 15th. That's when that happened. And just today, we have EOS that surpassed Stellar. I know they're still fighting back and forth here, but EOS has surpassed Stellar in, tel um, in terms of market cap. They're kind of fighting for it, uh, but it is, um, they have, EOS has surpassed Stellar. They're still, EOS has surpassed Stellar right here. I mean, they're still back and forth fighting it out, um, but. It looks like that will be kind of the uh, trend in the near future. We'll have a lot of currencies kind of going up, some going down. You know, things are going to start to change. So I do believe that that is a sign that alt season is approaching us. And the good thing about alt season is alt season comes before the major bull runs. So if you can have the alts start pumping and more uh, money flowing into the crypto space, that will really help the whole space overall kind of pump it up um, quite a bit. So Crypto Bull here from Twitter do, does believe that alt season will start regardless of how Bitcoin does. If it bounces, it stays flat or it drops further, alt season may start. The last thing I want to talk about really quick is, you know, we have had all these skeptics and saying Bitcoin is dead, Bitcoin is a scam, it's a Ponzi, this and that, none of this. Um, but when you came down to it, so we have Anthony Pompliano, who is a founder and partner, partner at Morgan Creek Digital. Uh, is a is a very prominent uh, crypto influencer on Twitter and other platforms, and he offered one million dollars to those skeptics, uh, and he offered it as a bet, saying in the next ten years, if uh, crypto if stocks outperform bit, uh, crypto, we will give you one million dollars. And nobody took him on that challenge. Nobody wanted to bet him one million dollars that uh, stocks will outperform crypto in the next ten years. So that just says something that look. All these skeptics, they're saying this and that and this, but at the end of the day, when it comes to the long term of crypto, they are threatened by cryptocurrencies because it is really an innovative technology that really opens up a whole new world of uh, possibities. Uh, and it's, it's you know, especially when the regulation will come through and the ETFs and all that good stuff, you know, cryptocurrency is here to stay and it's, it's very revolutionary technology that has a huge potential in the future. And I will leave you with that. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think altcoins season is starting right now? Do you think we're still going to go lower with Bitcoin? Let me know when you think the bottom is for Bitcoin. Because again, a lot of people call it at 5,000. Now people are saying 3,000. Some here and there are saying 2 and 1,000. I, I don't know. Personally, I do believe 
3000 is going to be kind of like the bottom for bitcoin but again i'm not a digital i'm not a financial advisor i'm just some other, some guy with an opinion so thank you guys all for watching my name is mark i'm from noltex and i'll see you guys next time